East Germany, 1984. The Leviathan Corporation rules with an iron fist, controlling its citizens through mass surveillance, social class rules, mind-altering drugs, and the promise that the gates to utopia will open to those who serve. We are Daniel McGovern, a Rome agent for Leviathan's Thought Bureau. Using advanced technology to dive into the minds of the accused, we will investigate crime scenes, interview suspects, and report our findings back to Leviathan. This is the demo for Karma, The Dark World, a first-person cinematic psychological horror thriller set in a dystopian world. I have had my eye on this game for over a year now at this point. Let's dive in. What the hell? That sounded like a gunshot, dude. What the fuck? And who was telling me to wake up? Nobody's here! What? I don't like this, dude. That looks painful, man. Why was there black liquid oozing out of whatever was in your arms? Why are we confused about where we are? This is all kinds of messed Am I up, dude. To these people? Or are there others living here? I don't know. That's blurry. I can't tell. Tab to check our objective. Leave the room. Okay. Yeah, but before we do that, right? I gotta investigate. I gotta investigate. I gotta see what's going on. There's just a bunch of tapes. And I can't interact with them. That's, uh, that's, uh, strange. Ew, yeah, why was it black goo? What were they pumping into me? That's like a body silhouette, but no head. That's really weird. Very, very strange. A note, memo obtained, handwritten notes, hospital room. Read, you people won't succeed. Come to the transition room after calibration. You people? What does that mean? There's like a tape machine here. Connect, quantity, countdown. Tape inventory 33, tape licensing. No, print confirmation through. Okay. I don't remember what happened. Why am I here? Oh God. I'm like dripping fluid out of the valves in my arm. Why do I have valves in my arm? What happened to me? Oh, oh my. Okay, so the window opened, the curtain opened. That's totally normal. How do we not know who we are? We do not look very healthy. Like our skin is ashen, almost, uh, it's gray. Whoa. The cars are glitching in and out. I don't think that's normal. There's a dead person there? What? <laughs> okay, and the stop sign is, is fritzing. And there's just a dude laying on the ground. Okay. Totally normal. Uh, this isn't... Okay. Are we in somebody's dream, like, consciousness already? Trying to investigate them? I'm... Hmm. It's a bunch of water. Is anyone there? <sighs> Objective updated, fine calibration room, okay. Visual calibration room. All right, let's go. I mean. Welcome, special agent. Please have a seat. Do I want to be a special agent? I don't think I want to be a special agent. Finish visual calibration. Okay, all right, you know what? Performing visual calibration. Oh, you want me to adjust the gamma? I already did this before I started. Good. We're good on visual calibration. We are all good. Calibration room audio. Please I've already done to the this. Table. 
finish audio. So they've like incorporated Performing the settings into the game. That's really interesting. The brightest galaxy I've ever seen was a diamond shrouded in ghastly dark blue flames. He sank into the dark ocean, invoking an apocalyptic wave. Foolish humans trample over their breath. No, I mean, it's good. A reasonable dynamic range. A reasonable dynamic range. Okay, thank you so much, lady. There's a lot of speakers in here. This is pretty cool. I've never... I don't remember off the top of my head another game incorporating settings like this. This is really Please interesting. Stand at the marked location. An apple? Performing spatial calibration. Spatial? What are we doing here? Field of view 90. Yeah, Excellent. I already said that. Calibration complete. Good luck on your missions. Please proceed. Please proceed to the transition room. Okay, lady. Okay. Transition room, cultivation room, calibration room, patient room 01, patient room 02. So am I patient 02? Leviathan Corporation Thought Bureau. I mean, if you call yourselves a Thought Bureau, I can't believe people support that. Ooh, it's... It's... It, it, um... They don't look okay in here. It looks run down. It looks fucked up. Patient 01. What's my new objective? Find the transition room. Okay. I think we have an emergency. Can I pull the emer emergency? Emergency! There are these weird bag tubes. Are you the lady that was talking to me? Are you the lady? Are you like some form of AI? Is that what you are? You're probably some form of AI, aren't you? Huh freezer room but it says o2 it's a bunch of dead bodies. it's a bunch of dead bodies dude it's a bunch of dead bodies on ice in a freezer room what's in o1 i didn't think i could actually oh i can't look in there the visor's closed okay well what are we keeping a bunch of bodies on ice for dude that's fucking weird calibration rooms can't go that way this is a weird place, man. I don't know what to think of all this. There's bodies here. They're twitching and moving. What the fuck is this? Bro. They're in soil. Are they being grown? What? There's like three of them per thing. They're like fucking tomato plants, dude. What the hell is... <gasps> It's just a pile of dead bodies? Why would you want people to see this? Did they not grow properly? They have no genitals. They have no genitals. They barely have facial features. What is happening, dude? They have sores on them. I do not think that these people are doing well. They seem... One of them got out. He escaped from this, or he escaped from his little hole right there. He's sitting over there. He's gonna freaking attack me, isn't he? Hey, buddy. What's, uh, what's your deal? You doing okay there? You doing okay? Everything okay? You're not gonna, oh, you have holes in your arm like I do. Am I one of you guys? Can't do anything with you. It's just twitching like a zombie. What the fuck? All of them are. This is fucking weird, dude. There's cameras monitoring them. How come nobody came and stopped this guy? He got out. Okay, I'm just gonna... All right. He died. I'm working on something more important. So I have to pick up... So he died. My God, what are they? are they just like farming clones? And the ones that make it, they use for whatever they need. Is that what I am? Is that what we are as da Daniel McGovern? Are we just like one of these guys who didn't die? I don't know how to toss him. There we go. Oh, I set him down because I'm nice. Yeah, dude, I think something's wrong with your growing process. There's a lot of bodies. Recording. The fuck are you recording, you piece of shit? 
Who's in here? Find her. I am unimportant. You, you have to put uh, an end to this. I, I just woke up in the room over there. Ah, looks like you're finally awake. Do you know what this place is? Yes, of course. And those twisted Weird, we things don't outside. Have the time for an explanation. <laughs> have a seat on that chair for now. I'm working on something else. What the hell does that mean? You're just you gotta explain yourself, old man. You know, I'm just gonna sit down and let you do whatever you want to me. Only if I have to progress the game, okay? You son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, dude. More bodies in here. What's wrong with you, man? What does this say? A clean, well-lighted place. A clean, well-lighted place. San Francisco. I mean, what? This is so weird. So I'll probably talk about this at the end of the video, but this has the novel 1984 and George uh, Orwell the author of that like it has Orwellian vibes right with which that author kind of pioneered that for lack of a better term I'm gonna call it genre now um it became an adjective using his last name because of that novel 1984 it's very uh serendipitous that this is set in 1984 I think it's on purpose right all right I guess I have no choice but to sit down in the electric chair in the water The most important part is you have to get out. No, we all have to get out of this place. Wait, who are you? What are you doing to me? Why can't I recall anything? You don't know who I am? Mother didn't tell you? I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Who the hell is Mother? I no. swear to you, I don't know a thing about well, you. Well, that's impossible. For half my life, I have been serving her. One after another. You have never succeeded. None of you have. I put in so much effort to leave messages on the other side that none of you seem to care about them. Hey, listen. This might be a misunderstanding. There are things I can't call to mind. I arrived here by accident. I can't be one of those people you speak of, Only right? Only people can pass through the abyss. I cannot. I am trapped here forever. My memories... Wait. You're saying you lost your memories? Yes. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I woke up in a room, passed through calibration, and ended up here. I... You do seem different from them. Those useless people out there. All they care about is doing their jobs. Perhaps... I'm saying, perhaps you may succeed if you wish to retrieve your memories. This thing can help you. No, you won't be lost forever like them. <laughs> They're failures. Finding my memories? No, I, I, I think you've got the wrong person. I've explained it so many times. I did lose my memories, but I'm not one of those people you speak of. Listen, Abba, I don't know how you ended up here, nor do I care, but you got here, and that means it's your mission. You must find your true <laughs> memories. You're insane! What, what are you doing? Hey, You'll meet me again look at me! On the other side. <laughs> In a different form. Good luck, Daniel.
Where the hell am I? Why... Why is everything so surreal? What the hell is that, dude? Some kind of obelisk. What the fuck? And it's bright ass. It's lit up. What? There's multiple, but only one is lit up. Where am I? What am I doing? Uh, this is weird as hell. Okay, there's this. Okay. It's moving into place. What? All right. Hey, hey, hey. What? There's liquid. What does that mean? Some kind of object? Where did this come from? Hey? I don't understand, man. I don't even know what's real anymore. This old man Best just put me time. into this machine. Okay, so this guy said happy birthday. He's getting a Can't present be. for his kid or his Why is son. This here? Why does it have blood on it is the better question. Bloody fingerprints. Moment, as usual. From now on, I'll deliver the bodies around this time. You'll take them to cold storage. Understood. Professor, I can feel that his body is still mutating from the Dasein injection. Dasein? We'll try our best to contain the test subject. Understood. Professor, is there a way to free his consciousness from that huge body? Just like you, right? <laughs> What the fuck? No, no. Don't Is there a way to free his consciousness from that huge body? What does that mean? And then a huge bodied creature broke in? What in the world, dude? Objective flee from the monster. Dude, what? I don't know. So our name is Sean. We can't get under the desk. <gasps> what? The? It's like two people in one. How the fuck do I get out of here, dude? Sean Mendes. I hope I'm saying that right. How the fuck do I flee from this thing? When its back is turned. We gotta crouch low. Thing is giant though, it can see over everything. Like how it doesn't know that I'm here, I don't know, man. We gotta go. Can I please get up and run? I can't. I can't. Oh, shit. oh you fucking dumb fuck. We're dead now. We're gonna turn. Ah! No, no. Grab no, it and no. run, you stupid no, bitch! No. 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 I'm running! I'm running! Run, 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 Why are you so slow? Run faster! Run faster, dude. Go! Go, you have a giant, like, two person. Weird ass creature, dude, get the fuck out! Don't have to huff and puff now! You need to go! Go, 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 go! Come on, man! I don't wanna die to that thing! I don't wanna see whatever secrets it has! Get in the vent! Get in the vent, dude! It can't get you in here, it's too, it's too big. It can't get you in here, it's too big. Why is the monster here again? What monster? Why are there better Damn question? Recorder. Why are there okay, there are cockroaches, you, but why are there Christmas lights in the vent? And why are they pointing me in what I hope to be the correct direction? And they're all flashing, which is why won't weird. You leave me be? So this isn't the first time you, that he's been she you've must been be chased? Waiting for me at home. I have to get out of here. Who is she? Your daughter? Who you were going to give the music box to? Grace. 
wait for me. Yeah, it must be his daughter, right? One would assume. Uh, that's a lot of Christmas lights. Is it telling me I need to go past them or I need to... Nope, I need to go that way. What is this? Blue bottles. Medicated electricity for weak people? Uh, say what? I ain't weak. Get the hell out of here. Medicated electricity. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, I kind of feel like I should be going... I'm gonna see what's over here. I'm gonna be a bad boy. I'm gonna go the way that it doesn't say to go. Leviathan Corp keyboard? Huh. Oh, we got a, like, little newspaper. We got some notes. Can I look at this newspaper? Memo obtained rumor. Ventilation duct. A chance to get more blue bottles. At 2300 every Thursday night, bring any object of value to the loyalty parking lot at 3rd Main Street to exchange it for blue bottles based on the value of the object that you brought. Is blue bottles like the medication, the pills that they use to keep the populace subdued, but they advertise it as something like that you have to have, right? Or that people really value? Keep the sheeples medicated, man. This vent, I'm pretty sure this goes on forever. I'm convinced this is our new life now. Bunch of dead bulbs here. Okay. Oh, God. There's a bunch of flowers? A bunch of flowers growing down through the vents. What? Why? That's really strange. All right. Well, we're making our way through. There's a bunch of TVs stacked out here with a bunch of lights. What does this mean? This looks like a nicer version of the office that we just came from. That's a giant cable, dude. <clears throat> obey, obey, obey. Okay, well, that's ominous. Find a way out of the weird space. Yeah, I would say this is a weird space. So this is where people work. Why is the cable so big? Is that running like all their electricity and wires? That's really weird, dude. Just says obey, yeah. All right, well, you know what? They have a camera pointed at every desk, like just for you. Your own personal camera to watch you. Who watches the watchers, man? Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, it's a dog. It's a dog statue? It's a dog statue. Okay, I was about to say, good boy. Equipment disposal notice. Employees have recently complained that some equipment is malfunctioning. Place any equipment with display issues such as color signal bars in the designated disposal area. All that is not working shall be discarded, be it humans or machines. Stay healthy, work hard. Oh, dude, fuck that shit, man. Okay, nothing on the back. All right, I guess we'll put back all that is not working shall be discarded. That's fucking dark, dude. Discard humans? Am I going to open up some sort of portal here? Through the TV Christmas tree thing, my bob? What is this? A journal? Employee Diary 01. I've been seeing a creepy young man around lately. Is he the new intern? My mental state is really deteriorating. I've drunk six blue bottles today, but I still feel tired. Must be because of that kid. Why does he keep staring at me with that creepy smile of his? He even followed me home. Is he from the company? Whatever you're trying to do, I'll show you. There's no one there, but he was just standing right there. That's fucking weird. I saw, I heard somebody talking to me. I heard somebody talking to me while I was reading the note. I just wanted to ignore it, though, because it sounded super creepy, and I don't want anything to do with that. Broken TV, graveyard, work, start. Yeah, happy holiday. Seems real happy. Okay. Employee surveillance log. Did you hear someone from the 13th floor was isolated for treatment? No, what happened? They say he overworked to the point where his head is... You know, he kept saying that someone's following him, but surveillance showed that he was hallucinating. Poor guy. Speaking of being followed, have you heard the rumor about a ghostly black car? Gulp. Tell me more. There's a black sedan with no license plate going around, grabbing anyone walking alone on the streets. By the time they show up again, they've either been fed some strange drug or had some organs stolen, and none of them remember anything at all. My friend said he's seen it with his own two eyes. I think the company's behind it all. Shh. Handwritten words. Handled. 
Handwritten words. Remember to verify with field support. What the fuck? All right, so the company is behind it, huh? Employee Diary 02. 13th, I've decided to go ahead with the surgery. Newspapers have reported that redacted excision is a simple and safe method that can effectively treat all mental disorders and that patients can resume normal work very quickly after the operation. In fact, I've been feeling depressed ever since I broke up with my girlfriend. I forced myself to work constantly in an attempt to forget, but that seemed to backfire. I just ended up becoming more anxious instead. I hope excision can help me, though I feel somewhat uneasy. Surprisingly, the company made an exception to give me a day of sick leave. I might as well give it a try. 17th, I'm going to have the surgery today. I hope everything will turn out okay. 19th, I feel calm. Very good. 23rd, work, work. Feels good. 25th, work. Did they lobotomize that dude so that he could just keep working without worrying about anything else? I think they lobotomized that man. The seven social sins, wealth without work, pleasure without conscience, knowledge without character, commerce without morality, science without humanity, worship without sacrifice, politics without principles. What is this? An ID card that indicates a social level of D. Okay, use? This item can't be used here? Huh. So I just took that? Am I supposed to put something here? Can't be used here. Work, start, happy holiday. Yeah, shut the fuck up, dude. Ain't nobody want to listen to your broken ass TV self. Be quiet. All right, I guess I got to sit in the chair because this is work. Obey. It's obey o'clock. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. What is this? I can touch this. What does this mean? Obtain a broken... Oh, we got to put... I understand. We got to put the broken TV on the other broken TV piles. Okay. Noted. Broken TV should be disposed of at the designated area. Yep. There we go. I did it. I did it. What the fuck am I seeing? Everybody's around the old TV static Christmas tree. Does that mean I'm supposed to go through there? I think. Excuse me. Oh, there's a bunch of pictures of faces. That's totally normal. Oh, everybody's working. Is there consciousness in the TVs? That might be it. Their consciousness. Oh, the dogs are kirking out. Why are the dog statues kirking out? Those are the people that work at each desk. Oh, this is fucking weird, dude. This is fucking weird. That guy looks like the guy who made the McDonald's documentary, you know, where he ate only McDonald's for however many days or whatever. Morgan Spurlacker. Is that his name? Morgan Spurlacker or whatever? I don't know why that just popped into my head. It's been so long since I seen that. I don't even like that guy. He was, he was kind of an asshole, I think. Like, obviously, the McDonald's thing. I don't know. I, I don't know. This. I don't know. I just, he looks like him. Am I just supposed to walk through this? Okay. Oh, I can't walk through this side. Why can't I walk through this side? Is it, excuse me? Oh, oh, hello. hello. I'm Edith. I always enjoy my work. Work gives me hope. Bet it does, Edith. That's lovely. You're printing something for me. Thanks, Edith. Uh, good, good job. Am I supposed to be like your supervisor or something? What the fuck is going on? Can I have this paper? What are you doing? Yeah, no, I understand. You're Edith. I know. This is some weird ass dystopian shit, dude. Uh, okay. okay, Edith. Am I supposed to walk through this way? Oh no, the door opened over here. I'm um, okay. I don't like this. These hallways are weird. Beware of the television announcements at all times during work. Watch. Always pay attention to tele screens at your working times. Okay. Uh, press the ink pad to refill after every three stamps. Leviathan Corp. Thought Bureau. Instruction. Refilling the ink for every three stamps. Okay. Take a drink when you feel tired. Blue bottle. Some kind of electricity is what it says. All right. 
Oh, do I actually have to work now? I don't want to work. There's a, what am I supposed to do? Stamp all these fucking papers? You know, lost your goddamn mind. Complete your job. Go fuck yourself, dude. All right, send down from my first day of work. Oh, man. I could be the only person in the world qualified for this. <laughs> Leviathan Corporation, Winston Institute, short notice. Restricted for office use only. Based on the needs of Leviathan Corp, the company has made the following decisions and arrangements. All scheduled holidays will not be converted to work days and will not be recorded as overtime for purposes of payroll or salary. We hope that employees in each of the departments will take advantage of this fantastic opportunity to improve your professional capabilities, hone and or improve upon your current skills, and work to ensure that the corporation's profits increase as well as your own personal salaries. Disclaimer, as a reminder, there will be no additional salary or promotions due to the change in work schedule. In addition, all time off requests will be denied. It is the expectation of department heads to abide by and enforce these scheduling changes and monitor the efficiency of each employee. As a company, we'll be monitoring overall performance for each of the departments on a periodic basis. Holy shit, that was super hard to read and it was really fast and oh my God, I can't stop talking now. Remember, Leviathan is always with you. Have a nice day and joyful Christmas. This notice goes into effect immediately. You are instructed to adhere to the above instructions. I need some of that blue bottle, dude, to keep up. In case of a violation, it is hereby notified. What? Product of Leviathan's Biotechnology Institute. Have you ever found yourself experiencing the following symptoms? Still exhausted even after having a full night's sleep. You want to acknowledge that you are a bit distracted at work, like. Even before the workday ends. Or be Blue bottle? Or be so that you lose track of whatever task or project you are working on in the office. Stumbling about your day with your mind in a fog. Life seeming like a twisted illusion, leaving you feeling lost and disturbed. <laughs> Are you worried that these negative emotions are hindering your work performance and overall happiness in life? Are you worried that you are losing your connection to the Paradise community? Do you suspect that your fellow colleagues are just as distracted from work as you are? There is no need to worry. Studies have shown that 72% of people, employees, and residents have admitted to having similar experiences as well. Through the hard work of our research team and Leviathan Biotechnology, we have found a perfect solution to these common issues. Blue bottles. The main ingredient is SH507, and it's the fuel your body needs to replenish its energy. As soon as you take a drink, your emotions are lifted, and your nerves are once again back in your control. In turn, you become a more productive member of your team. All emotional distractions and lack of enthusiasm disappear. The end result is a very positive frame of mind, allowing you to experience peak performance. 96% of consumers, as well as our clinical trial participants, reported that they experienced improved productivity in the workplace, a higher quality of life, greater social interactions due to greater confidence, and many other benefits in addition to these. Your emotions are fear, doubt, misgiving, stupid, and jealousy. In life and at work, will be lifted and replaced by calm, serenity, or even forgotten. To immediately enjoy the life-changing benefits of this technological wonder, Call this number now to reach our customer service team that are waiting to So while I'm stamping, I just Disclaimer. I just have to watch Our this fucking propaganda this bullshit. This is insane. I thought it would stop at some point. Holy shit. And related companies. So every three stamps you gotta get new ink, right? During your working hours free of charge. We look forward to hearing from you. What a bullshit job. What are these papers that need stamped in the first place, dude? 
and it's just gonna keep looping. What is this? This work shows a real lack of competence on your part. Sure, bit of advice. Well, maybe you should try and freshen up a bit before continuing your work. You need a bit more focus. I need the blue bottle. I need a blue you bottle. You stop by my office when you're done. I need the blue bottle, dude. Can I get the blue bottle? Blue bottle. Blue bottle will help, dude. Pull back to drink. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, great. Look, now I'm drugged. Oh, look at that. All the negative emotions went away. What lovely stuff this is. It's totally not keeping me a slave to the corporation. Studies have shown Get your fucking fake studies out of here, bitch Need more of this I feel like I'm losing my mind, dude Listening to this fucking blue bottle commercial and propaganda Alright, now we need, more, we need more ink Every three, right? One one thing that Leviathan cannot abide in its employees is them making an excessive amount of mistakes on tasks assigned to them. Drink it some more, dude. Is this eventually what kills you? Like, you just overpoison yourself with this stuff? What the fuck, dude? Leviathan emergency notice? Dear Leviathan employees, the company has made the decision to adjust your schedule so that your free time is now part of your working schedule. We'll continue to review the implementation of the policy by department on a periodic basis. Any comments or dissatisfaction or negative performance and work duties will be considered a violation. It's so fast, I can't read it all. Oh, what? You're hanging, people. We believe that you will have a wonderful and productive day. Unexpected no signal? What? This is fucking weird, dude. Take the blue bottle, man. Take the blue bottle. Just take it, dude. Just take it. This technological wonder only works for like two minutes, dude. What the fuck are y'all peddling over here? I don't remember where I was at stamp-wise, dude. I don't remember where I was at stamp-wise. I think I need more ink. Something it said, don't drink it, you'll die. That's what it said. That's what it said. I saw that. This is exactly what they are expecting, but I know it is inevitable. You can't stop. You can't stop. You can't stop. Oh, I'm still stamping papers, baby. Oh, this is fucking weird. No, I can't stop, dude. What am I supposed to do, man? I have no other option. <laughs> oh, this is weird as hell, bro. <laughs> Memo obtained drug SH-507 analysis report. For authorized personnel only, please destroy this document according to procedure VTL5 after reading. Do not circulate. Increase the concentration of SH507 in blue bottles as requested. This drug alters the transmission of monomine neurotransmitters to induce heightened focus and obedience with lowering the sense of fatigue. According to the results of a comparative laboratory study, the blue vial group showed a 38.2% increase in productivity compared to the control group. It should be noted that this drug has notable side effects, including moderate addiction, and subjects may exhibit anxiety and irritability once the drug is withdrawn. 
Yeah, that's totally normal, right? Hey, no problem with that. We just, you want them hooked on the drug for longer, dude. Oh, somebody put that note there for me. For little old me. That was a weird ass experience, dude. I felt like I was starting to go down the hole of going crazy, man. Why am I, I'm limping. I think I saw in one of the cutscenes that this guy, this Sean Mendez guy, not Mendez, Mendes. I don't know how you say his last name. That we're playing as you can't see my feet right now had some sort of prosthetic I really foot or leg don't like it here everyone is fake yeah same gotta agree with that why are the tvs why like blurry i can only smile i can only smile all the tvs are blue like the medicine i can't read that because it's upside down what the Look fuck i'm a loser a capital d low class type of loser you're not a loser. You're just being imprisoned by a totalitarian oh, state. This is fucking weird, dude. There's a bunch of speakers everywhere. What kind of shit have I gotten myself into, bro? Obey. Obey. No help here at all. Blue bottles! Quick! I need more blue bottles! Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's any hope here. It feels like we're screwed. What is this over here, though? What are we... It's got no head. Is this the guy whose head exploded while he was working? I was supposed to put something there. I was supposed to put a TV. There's a bunch of nerves and is that supposed to, it's all black and white. That ain't, some ain't right. Some ain't right right there, dude. I mean, I know he's missing. I'm supposed to put the TV there. Help. What the frick, bro? TV from freezer. Why was it in the freezer? What? All right, here you go. Brand new TV obtained from the freezer. Here's your TV head. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's like weird visual stuff happening on the edges of screens and like randomly shit is going on that hints you in that like this, we're not fully in reality. Oh, I gotta like twist it down on his neck, on his head bone. Oh god, he's alive. It's here. Oh, that's me. It's here. I have a prosthetic leg. Where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go this way? Oh my god, the walls are closing in. Uh, the walls are closing in. I can't squeeze through here, dude. This is so fucked. Where's that monster at, man? You better not. I can't. Nope. Nope. I'm, I, I'm walking so slow. I can't turn around and look. All I can do is move forward. I can't do anything else. <laughs> oh, just fell through something. Okay. So our character is walking. Wow. We fell through a really small hole is walking with a limp. We do have a like fully prosthetic leg, it seems like. I mean, I guess go to the direction of the TVs, even though I don't want to. These are broke, <gasps> broken TVs though. What the fuck is going on, dude? All right. Oh! Jesus Christ, man, it became a slide. This ain't no playground. All of the TVs. No, no, no. It's I, no, 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 run, dude, open your goddamn knees and run. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Faster. Go, 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 go. I can't run any faster, dude. I'm holding down the run button. It's not doing shit. Oh my God. I'm not turning around. Fuck this. I'm not stopping. Doors are opening everywhere. What the fuck is this? There are TVs in the way. There are goddamn TVs in the way. Just stay to the sides. Stay to the sides and we should be okay. Fuck. Oh, my prosthetic. Go. What is it hurting or did it fall off? Fucking go. 
Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. This isn't real. This can't be real. Oh my god! He's right there! No! No, don't, don't kill me! You've already taken one of my legs! What more do you want? No, I'm begging you! I have a kid! I haven't gotten to say goodbye! Cassette? Don't, don't, don't kill me! What? Is that monster us as the character that we started playing as? We were chasing that guy? And he sees us as a monster because we were in his subconsciousness? You saw it too. That thing's real. Before all this happened, was it the same monster that took your leg? You see, everyone thinks I'm mad, including me. This monster made me lose my job, my family. <laughs> I did something terrible. I, I feel bitter. <laughs> but none of that matters now. <laughs> the only person who believes me turns out to be the Thought Bureau agent interrogating me. What I saw in your head doesn't show the entire truth. The key to resolving everything lies deeper. Things that I've yet to see. Sean, for your child and for yourself. Let's make a deal, Agent McGowan. If, I'm saying only if, promise me the Thought Bureau will protect my child from those bastards. Then I'll show you the truth about this monster. Mother, I use my authority as a Rome agent to request protection for Grace Mendez. Request approved. The Thought Bureau has been informed. Let's begin. From those bastards, who does he want? I thought it was the Thought Bureau. Who is creating the monster? What the hell is going on? I gotta go back in. I don't want to go back in. That was fucking you. So we seem much more together with it. Begin, who, Rome. Who was the Five, character that we four, woke up as at three, first? Two, one. Synchronization complete. Karma, the dark world. Holy shit. Pollard Studio proudly presents Alive by Gang Lee. Ha <laughs> 
Where the hell am I? When the Leviathan Corporation came, everything changed. We brought hope. This mother that you all worship, has she made this city any better? He has lingered too long at the gate of death. How do you know if his consciousness is still in his body anyway? Tell me, do you think a glimpse of a memory is the absolute truth? You don't get to choose to see the events that led up to these memories, or what transpired after. You should know more than I do about how Leviathan operates. Why don't you kill me? Because you're a good person. Whether it's in this space or another space, you're a good person. What's going to happen next? <laughs> You. Will you help me? You just don't know it. Thank you for playing. Damn. So first off, I'm blown away by the visual fidelity and the quality of the narrative that they are producing here. I'm interested. I'm pulled down. I definitely want to check out the full release of this. Uh, if I had any criticism, which I don't know for me that this is so much a criticism, but just to put it out there, this was very light on gameplay and more focused on like narrative and being a walking sim, right? Which I don't have a problem with walking sims, especially if they're well done and they tell a good narrative. You guys know me. I love to stream games and I love games that are single player, story driven, narrative experiences. That really make you feel something and i feel like this is headed in that direction so it excites me but don't come into this at least the demo expecting much gameplay because there's not i don't know what the full release will be like hopefully they expand upon it and we see more like gameplay wise i think we will uh the steam page mentions puzzles and interviewing suspects and other things like that so just didn't get a lot of it in the demo, but this looks very promising, right? Audio design and music is great. Just stunning all around quality wise. So I will say the uh, 1984 novel, uh, George Orwell's masterpiece, right? Very much on display here for anybody who's read it or seen the movie adaptation of it, which the movie adaptation is pretty good too, but book's always better, right? Very Orwellian, right? The Leviathan Corp and everything, lots of scenes or just small aspects of this are very, very reminiscent or almost pulled exactly from the book, which I appreciate. That's a great book. It's a classic. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody take care. Be awesome. Stay awesome.